a world-famous capital and a top tourist destination, Rome is also starting to look like the perfect venue for the Champions League final. An ancient city, once entertained by battles at the Colosseum, now thrilling to the prospect of a contest between Barcelona and Manchester United's footballing gladiators. It is an honor to host the Champions League final. Rome is the eternal city, you know. I mean, take away Paris and there's no other city in the world like it. So I think uh, it's, um, it's, it's a wonderful venue for really the two best teams in the world. This week, tens of thousands of football supporters will join the sightseers exploring the Trevi Fountain or the Spanish Steps and the Romans are ready to welcome them all. We will have a lot of Spanish and England people and I think it's important for our city because we will have uh, an increase of work, an increase of uh, money and it's exciting. Well, yes, it's so important for Italy uh, that the final of Champions League uh, play here in Rome. Uh, it's, uh, Stadio Olimpico is um, it's a very good stadium. Built more than 70 years ago during Italy's Mussolini era, this is one of the world's famous sporting arenas. It was drastically modernised before the 1990 World Cup final and the Stadio Olimpico will be staging the final of this competition for the fourth time. It's an important week for Italian football. In recent years, the game's image has been marred by scandal and hooliganism and is only just starting to recover from falling revenues and attendances. I think we've hit the bottom. I mean, episodes of violence have been declining every year since 2004. Um, attendance this season was up by as much as 15 to 18 percent uh, in Serie A. Um, so, you know, there's a sense that we're, we're coming out of, our, uh, out of the tunnel, as it were, and, and hopefully, um, you know, getting back to closer to where we are. Although Moscow did an efficient job of hosting the final 12 months ago, the strict organisation of Russia's authorities left little room for fun. This year, the Champions League final should feel more like La Dolce Vita in Rome. Alex Thomas, CNN, Rome.